by the way, I want to tell everybody about it. I, I saw a zombie movie that pissed me off. Pissed uh -oh. me off. A thinking man. Where did our friend go, by the way? Are we missing one? I don't did know. We, Michael, did, did Michael Myers get him? Did we like, scare him it? away? We scared him away because we're so aggressive. <laughs> No, but maybe Michael Myers got him. Like it's revenge Elliot, for Halloween. Elliot and I tend to get very excitable when we're we're when our topics. We get very excitable, the two of us. No, um, it was called uh the night man. No, what is it? Uh, the night eats the earth. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Did you see this? No, 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 no. The no. only way I can explain this is like it was present. It was like a thinking man zombie movie. Like we need that. This movie effing pissed me off on so many levels, and I feel like I must talk about it to cleanse myself of it. I went into it because the preview was awesome, and I'm like, this looks great. It was on Tubi. Like the preview just looked great. It looked like what looked like like 28 days later. Like think like that. Okay. So you know, guy goes to a party gets locked in a room, wakes up, and everybody's zombies. Okay, seems like a cool plot. Has to get out the apartment building, but how can you because the you know dead are all around you? Well, anyway, so it turns out this movie was almost like an hour and a half of my life I can't get back of this guy making every mistake that you make. Like the first being like, he doesn't panic. He opens the door. He sees his girlfriend's a zombie, and he's like, oh, okay, so I better hunker down. So then he hunkers down. He finds a drum set, starts drumming, so then all the fucking zombies come. I mean, there's so many rookie mistakes. Uh, he hallucinates a friend in the house who isn't even there. At the end of it, he inadvertently sets fire to the very apartment building that is his only shelter from the more, you know, mob of zombies out there. It was retarded. I hated it. I'm mad at <laughs> anybody who made it. I just was so pissed off at the end of this movie. I was yelling the whole time at this dude, like, what the what are you doing? And then after you go through all this emotional turmoil and no great zombies, by the way, like the zombies they had far and few between, they sucked. There was like nothing really scary about them. And when finally you get to the scene at the end where he escapes the building, you think you're getting onto something, it ends. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah it pissed me off so bad. <laughs> what kind of movie does that? It was like, you know, not, not, not finishing you know, if you will, you know, for you gentlemen, you know what I mean? You know, it pissed me off. It pissed me off. I, I gave me my hot, my horror version of blue balls. <laughs> I don't know. Like, yeah, I, I know what you mean. Like, that's why Skimmerinka Dink do whatever the hell that movie is. That I was gave bull it, bullshit. I, it was bullshit. I, why do people think it's so scary? Is it just the way that it's shot I with think, the jumpy camera work or? I think my misanthropic, my misanthropic side is that humans are stupid. And I think like... <laughs> Every reaction I've been seeing on like social media and Lisa wannabes trying to cop your style of like How dare not doing even half the research or having half your intellect is like every <laughs> review I'm seeing is quoting the those first reviews of it's like he filmed my nightmares. So it's like it's that first thing is like, wait a minute, your review is already including what people told you it was about before you right. saw it. And that's is like, are humans that much of sheep that like they go see a movie and they can't even sit. They're, they're, this movie made me question a lot about reality right now because it's yeah, like. Yeah, I couldn't believe that it got the reviews that it got because it wasn't even that. that um, you were engaged it was just, with it. it. Like, I kept wanting to tap out. Like, I kept wanting to. I knew that it was going to keep dragging in the same way that right. it was. Like, okay, we're in this vibe. We're staying in this vibe and we're not getting out. I get it. So I wanted something to happen, and then it never happened. You know what I right? mean? Right. Like inadvertently it, watching a gay porno and being like, the girls <laughs> never came. You know, like, it's literally, that's what it was like to me. I keep seeing these dudes. I'm like, okay, well, where's the cheerleaders? Where's everybody? And they never come. You know what I mean? And so then you're like, oh, I'm watching a gay porno. Like, that's what it was to me. So, yeah, well, it so sucked. I hated it. Because I lasted 30 minutes while laughing and wanting. <laughs> I, I wanted to fart so that the whole theater heard me as an expression of my anger and distaste at this the most ins one of the most insulting films i've ever seen to a life of dedicating my life to making movies and my, my friends making movies with me and trying to get our stuff out there and making far better things and having festivals reject them so there's so much anger but like i even 30 minutes where the kids go let's go downstairs and then i was like <laughs> i'm fucking done like does anything else happen in the movie spoilers no. but does anything show up because there were so many moments to yeah. it where i was like if something like jumped out right now, I would be screaming and I give this like a B plus at least. But I was right. like, it misses every opportunity. Plus it is just like, it's horrible. Yeah, it wasn't very good. It really wasn't. No, I guess he filmed it in his childhood home too. So what the reference with that is, I don't I've know. Read but, it. 
I, I just, I don't know. And if that's like what it takes to scare the masses, like, let me go grab a camcorder and, you know, put my little daughter wandering around at night and, you know, go make a freaking, you know, art house horror movie and be like, here you go, everybody. I'm changing the, you know, whole face of horror right now, you know, because it was, I did not like it. I did not like it. A lot of these horror movies, I'm not going to lie. They're lacking nowadays. We don't have what we used to have, dude. I just saw that they're coming yeah. out with like the scream in Manhattan. And Who I cares? saw the preview and I'm like, yeah. what, the, what the hell? How can we do this anymore? How can we do this with this guy now? And like, he's on a subway train. Are you effing yeah. kidding me? Like what? What the F? In this day and age, you wouldn't have phones up, you know, recording the guy. Done. He's caught, you know, over, you know, like that's the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. There's no kind of creativity anymore. And yeah, saying no, that, I, I, yeah, I there's agree. some like, good ones, some, you know. No, you're right. Like Scream them. 6, I, I saw part of that preview and I'm like, this is transcending what Kevin, what, what Kevin Williamson was uh, like intending when he wrote the thing. It was based on like, you know, it was a hometown trilogy of horror. And then there's like some Shakespearean, like family bloodlines. And there's like, you know, he's got some layers to even if you don't like every one of those original three movies, that's what it is. And it's like, like you said, it's like, this is ridiculous. This is not scary. This could not happen in, in, in New York city. And then it becomes like, what, what, like, I don't even think that the, the filmmakers are educated enough as Wes Craven was <laughs> because he's a professor of humanities at Potsdam College. Like, I don't even think they're saying anything about bodega tax or anything like that maybe could be there as a metaphor. It's just, uh, to me, like, again, lazy, useless filmmaking of like, this is just trying to make another way to make another scream. Right. And I don't even know what the fuck happened in the last, like, it was just such a horrible movie. It was movie stupid, yeah, yeah. They just like, finally killed I, I like, that was it. It was lackluster. Yeah, there's some, and like, honestly, somebody like, is um, Bill, within Billy the first Voorhees' 10 minutes, daughter, right? Knew. Yeah, I already knew who did it. Like, when they did the one hospital shot, I already knew it was the yeah, guy. Yeah. I'm like, it's that guy. Like, I knew immediately. That's right, yeah, Jack Wayne, you know? whatever his name. Yeah, I knew immediately. I was like, no girl has a boyfriend that nice. No way, you know? He's a douchebag. We all know it. It's over. You know, no, 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 no. And then she wasn't giving up any pussy. So, you know, you know, he's the murderer. Then he's like, I'm just patient. I'll wait for you. Fuck that. You know, no guys like that, bitch. You know he's that, killing yeah. people. He's killing people and we all fucking know it, you know? That's how and I feel about it. And then the girl, that, yeah. the girl that turns the girl that is one of the real life spawn Manson killers in Once Upon a <laughs> Time in Hollywood, she once again gets burned to life at the end of Scream. She's one of the killers. She's just supposed to be one of the killers in all these scenes where the killer's like six foot. And it makes yeah. it, there's no physical way that she could have <laughs> taken out Dewey or any of these things. Like at least in the first three screen movies the killer made physical sense when you revealed right. it like that person could have killed that person at the time there's no way she could have overpowered like dewey and all these people and that's why i thought maybe it'll happen but i thought like it would have made more sense for matthew lillard to have survived. to come back now i would have loved that that and come I back loved. 20 years yeah. later because we never With, saw like, his facial guy. burns or something yeah that yeah. would have been badass yeah. yeah and this new one they're bringing back the new girl uh hey the girl what's her name kirby or whatever Hadian P P I. I don't but wasn't know, she? Wasn't she like the niece that tried to kill? Didn't she? Yeah. Try yeah. To kill They're bringing Sydney her back. No. So I'm not into it. Yeah, and guess what? There's no Nev Campbell in this one. How the f can you have a screen with no Nev Campbell, no Sydney? Like the whole thing is based what? on Sydney. Yeah, they're not having – Nev Campbell is not in this next one. It's all based on Courtney Cox's character, Gail Weathers. Yeah, I just read about that today, and I was like, oh, are you mad? Yeah. Now, in saying that, the first scream to me is like so iconic. I love the yeah. first scream. Aaron hates yeah. it. Aaron hates it with a passion. I love it. He it's does? still one of my favorite. Yes, he's like got such a hard on against it. He hates it, but he likes really gory movies. I love it. I saw it in the theater, and I remember that first scene where the kid gets gutted, and I was like 15 years old, and I was like, "This is effing awesome! Like, this is where has this been all my whole life? This is the best scene in any movie I've ever seen in my life." And people were like, "Oh my god!" And I loved it. Absolutely loved yeah, it. That, from beginning to end, it was flawless. The first movie was one of those moments where I hope we get back to in the theater. No, the everybody's of, too desensitized. They're not going to. We're I fucked know, with but, horror movies now. But going to see that movie on a Saturday night with my buddy George Preckle and Dan Crowley and Dan snuck in like a six pack of Guinness or Samuel Adams. I don't know what it was. <laughs> and we, the theater was sold out that we had to go almost up to the second to last screen last row and we were looking like this but that's funny we were so sucked into the movie that you we forgot of our, our neck cramps and whatever 
And again, that opening scene with Drew Barrymore was like, what yeah. the fuck? Like, this is... Pop and popcorn. Yeah. Which, by the way, <laughs> style icon, icon in that scene. I was like, yeah. oh, my God, she's so cute. And who expected her to get off within the first 10 minutes? Yeah, and what yeah, a yeah. scene. What a scene. It comes and gets you with a, with a wallop. And I'm all about it. All about it. I recently saw this movie called Frozen. Have you heard about that? Not the Disney movie. They get stuck on a ski slope. Yeah. Okay. So just to show you, okay. Look, I heard about out. it. It's by a, it's by a director. I can't remember his name, but I know he did something before that that I wanted right. to see. So I look, forget. everybody kept saying, "There's this scene. There's this scene," and I'm like, "What is the scene?" You know, because I'm thinking, you know, it's more of a claustrophobic movie. You're stuck in a situation. You know, that claustrophobic feeling. Dude, when I tell you this scene was one of the most terrifying scenes I've ever seen in a movie, it took me like a day or two to get over it. It was like. Mm like so disturbing but basically what happens is the guy's on the ski lift and i'm not giving it away because like literally on the cover of the movie that's what you see yeah, they're yeah. stuck on a ski lift and the guy has to fall he's gonna go get help and when he does there's wolves and he gets torn apart by wolves and when uh -huh. i tell you this scene is just begin i mean it's like a five minute scene and i was like sitting there like oh my god and i mean i've seen all i've seen a serbian film haven't blinked an eye you know what i mean like i've seen so many you know uh, what is this? Uh, 30 days of, you know, solo, nothing, you know, this, that scene. Oh my God. And that's, yeah, like nothing. We got to do disturbing movies one day, Elliot. Oh my God. Cause you know everything about disturbing movies. Yeah. Like you could probably, oh my God, come to think of it. Like you would be the expert with the disturbing movies. Well, like, yeah.